Good morning. Well, it's it's noon again, <laughs> but um, today since I have a super cash day um, planned with the grandbabies coming over and I just have some homework and stuff to do, I just want to throw some makeup on my face just in case I have to actually step out of the house, um, though I'm not planning on it. And I figured we'd do another one brand makeup tutorial. Um, disregard my hair because I slept on it wet and it is crazy. Woo, so crazy. Anyway, so I started out with my, my Urban Decay B6 spray. We're going to try to do this one brand tutorial of mostly Urban Decay. And I do have a lot of Urban Decay products, but... I'm still going to have to substitute a few in like powder and and, um, and concealer because my face, we talked about this yesterday. <laughs> so that's already, it's already dried so I'm going to go ahead and still try in this Dr. Brandt's Age Anti-Aging Mattifying Lotion and I'm really only going to use a little bit of this because I'm going to use a primer today, my Urban Decay. Pore Perfecting Complexion Primer Potion. I guess it would be helpful if I was looking in the mirror, huh? All right. So, got that on. So, now we're just going to go right in with this Urban Decay Pore Perfecting Primer Potion. I really like this. Um... But I don't use it very often, and I don't I don't know why. I don't know why I don't grab for it as often as I do. It's really thick, and it kind of fills your pores. And the color of it, I think it's supposed to counteract redness, I think. But, oh, my face. My face is so bad, you guys. So bad. Just kind of pat that in, make sure it's in all those, all those icky pores. All right, I need a tissue. <clears throat> all right, so that is done. I am gonna give it just a few minutes, or a few seconds. I'm not gonna give it a few minutes, but just give it time to, to kind of sink in. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to shake up my um, Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. This is in color 3.5, and I love this foundation. I don't know if it's going to cover all my face demons that I have going on, but we're going to give it a shot. It's very liquidy. You have to really, really, really shake it up. And I think that's good. Love it because it does have a pump. I did not buy this at Sephora. I actually bought this online at Nordstrom. Two little pumps. Like I said, very liquidy. Just gonna dot it on everywhere. But I bought it at Nordstrom because they, they were out of my color at uh, Sephora. And Nordstrom had it on sale 20% off. So, gonna take my, oops, nope. There we go. Gonna take my flat top kabuki and just kind of buff all that in. This is kind of a your skin but better um, type foundation. It really, it's very, it, it's buildable, but it's not, I'm going to need a lot of help. Let's just put it that way. So, wasn't sure I was going to use this, but definitely sure now. Put the pink under my eye. It's not called pink, it's called um, Brightener Illuminator. 
and then go in with the other Instant Age Rewind in yellow, which is the corrector. Yesterday when I put the Tarte foundation on, um, I got a really good cover, but that's a, that's a full coverage foundation, so. This one, not so much. So we're gonna shake it again, and we're gonna go in for a second pass. Now, if my skin wasn't broken out the way that it is, I wouldn't have to do so much of this. But my skin is pretty bad, so. It is necessary. Go back in and blend this all together again. That looks better. I think my skin really needed a full coverage foundation today, but the reason why I went with an Urban Decay one look is because I really wanted to use my, my moon shadow in Solstice. So, whatevs. I don't think I'm going to a Vogue photo shoot today, so we'll be fine. Alright, that looks pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Not, not perfection, but pretty good. Like I said, this foundation is for times when you're... Your skin isn't in uproar like mine is. Oh. Alright. So, before I, I set everything, I'm going to go in with this Urban Decay Eye Primer Potion. Because the color that I'm using, it is very glittery. And I want it to stay. I don't want it to go anywhere. Tell you what, the faces that we make when putting on makeup is insane. The eye look I'm going for today is, my nose itches like crazy. The eye look I'm going for today is actually really It's very simple. Now, if you remember, I, I do not have any, um, I don't have any Urban Decay powders, so I'm still going with this Laura Mercier Universal. And just pretty much everywhere that I had to put um, concealer, which was pretty much my whole face, sadly. just not oh my big fluffy brush move it all around move it all around move it all around my husband is finally coming home from the west coast today and while I'm happy that he's coming home from the west coast my husband is very messy he's just a crazy messy person one second I needed some liquid on my tongue. So even though my, my husband is like a crazy, messy person, when he's gone, my my bedroom isn't messy at all. It's perfectly clean. And then when he comes back, all bets are off again. All right, so going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, brow powder, and I'm really just filling these puppies in, not doing anything special. For some reason, my eyebrows look really weird right now. Like, I don't know what is going on. I just don't... They don't look like my eyebrows. <laughs> I don't know whose eyebrows they'd be, but they don't look like mine. All right. 
right, so that's done. I'm going to use the wax part of this little Ulta kit to stick them down. I've heard of people say that they've used, that they use hairspray. They spray hairspray on a spoolie. But, uh, my skin is really, really sensitive. And back in the days when, well, I'm probably going to tell my age, but back in the days when we would do the big bangs, um, it would break, the hairspray would break my face out so bad. So, I'm not, I don't know, I'm not too keen on that. I'm not going to do a contour at all today. I'm, I'm wanting to do like a really rosy look. Now, I don't have any Urban Decay blush, so I'm going to go with this Stila one. It is custom color blah, 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 blah. It is custom color blush in self-adjusting pink. And this is the one that is crazy looking, but I love it. I'm not going to lie. Um, you just got to have to be kind of careful with it. And this one looks best on the apples of the cheeks, like just making a rosy look. I mean, it's just, I think it's so pretty. Not contouring is, is pretty typical for me. Um, if I contour at all, it's usually under my cheekbones. And then it's not really contour, it's more like just bronzing my face up. Um, but I'm not even going to use a bronzer today because I feel like... I feel like this look doesn't need it. So, I'm going to go into my trusty Naked 3 palette. Going back to my Urban Decay stuff. This, uh, this Urban Decay Moon Shadow is like I, I don't know if you can see but it's got like four different colors in it like it's really it's it's just crazy pretty it's that duochrome so what I want I want this to be the only shiny element on my lid because I think that it can it can go crazy fast so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop into this and actually well, I need a big brush first but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the color strange and probably either nooner or limit um, for the crease but I'm definitely gonna put strange all over and then I really don't know which one I want um, let's go with Nooner. We're, we're, we're going to use Nooner. We're going to use this one right here. In the crease. And I'm going to use that with a really light hand. Now, these moon shadows, it says it's best if you actually apply them with your finger, and I would agree with that. Um, they do seem to apply much better if you just kind of swipe them on with your finger. So that is how I'm going to do it today. Build this up just a little bit. I still want it very subtle. I'm just adding the slightest amount of powder each time. Um so that I can build it up slowly. For eyeliner, I think I'm going to put eyeliner on before. And since I'm using my Naked 3, I want to use Black Heart, if I can find it. <laughs> Probably should have been a little more uh, prepared. Oh, dang. Where are you? There you are. Okay. <laughs> um, 
black heart has a little bit of glitter in it, but I think that that'll go well with this. And I really, I don't want it to go too far. I just kind of want it right up against um, the lash line. See, on most days I wouldn't have searched for this, but since I'm trying to do a, use as many Urban Decay products as I can. Most days I would have just given up right away and used like a regular black gel or uh, a black marker style. Am I the only one that, okay, I'm right handed. And it seems like my left eye gives me so many problems when I'm putting eyeliner on. Doesn't matter how I hold my hand. I mean, it just doesn't matter. It just seems to give me so many stinking problems. Okay, I'm gonna go. And the waterline with that. And just, just, just underneath so that it all like connects. I love the glitter in this because it's so unexpected. So unexpected. Okay, so I think I'm ready for my solstice now. <clears throat> Woo, that was crazy, huh? So I'm just going to dip into it with my finger and I just, can you see how gorgeous that is? I know the lighting is so bad in my bedroom, but I mean, do you see that? I, I just, I think it's stunning. I think it's just so stinking beautiful. I'm really just putting it on the lid. Oh man. So, it's just so pretty. I'm really glad though that I went matte with the rest of the lid because, I mean, this is like some serious, this is some serious glitter, people. I just think it's stunning. I think it's so pretty. All right, so, get that off my finger. And I'm just gonna use the same brush that I used um, with Nooner, but I'm not going to put any more product on it. I'm just going to blend out any, you know, harsh lines so that it just kind of all, so that it all comes together. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. I think I'm going to use this uh, Urban Decay brush and I'm just going to dip in just a little bit to that solstice color and see if I can't smudge it on the bottom. Uh, it's sort of working. Oh, stinking pray. Okay, so I'm going to use this again. My big fluffy brush just kind of. I now have glitter <laughs> all over my face. Um, because there's a lot of fallout with that, that uh, solstice. But I noticed the first time that I had a lot of fallout. And I was like, oh no, what am I going to do? And then I realized that. I kind of like it, <laughs> so I'm going to let it go. For mascara, I'm going to use Urban Decay's Perversion. Oh, 
sticking with that Urban Decay theme. This is one of those mascaras that I did not like, only because it's really hard to get off. But I really appreciate that it's so bold and it's so so dark and beautiful. Um, and then I stop appreciating it when it's time to take my makeup off at the end of the day. So. Alright, so we are almost done. The last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to hit the high points in my face with this um, Urban Decay Illuminator. Um, hmm, I'm just going to use this little brush right here. Just going to take it down my nose, high points in my cheeks. Basically, I'm just adding glitter, um, and I love it. <laughs> I love it. This is a very, very glittery look. Um, last but certainly not least, I'm going to use um, an Urban Decay Naked lipstick in the color Naked. This is truly one of my favorite uh, nude shades, but it does tend to kind of cling on to dry spat, little dry patches, and my lips are very chapped, so it's it's kind of doing its clinging thing, but that's okay grab you guys so you can see the finished look see I mean if you notice you can really see my my face demons kind of peeking out underneath this um this uh uh foundation but all in all it's a good look the eye is what really just ah oh, so stinking beautiful so beautiful absolutely love it so um sorry I'm terrible so that's, that's all I have for you guys. I'm not going to fix this just yet because that's going to take more time than anyone wants to deal with. Um, I hope you enjoyed this Urban Decay one-ish brand tutorial and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.